Manaj, the letter M. As you can see, Manaj is the exact opposite of Aljiz, the letter e, Z, the mark of the angels, female angels. When you turn the mark upside down, you get the mark of a male angel, Manaj. Humans, female and male, are in their true nature of light and love, angels. Manaj, the letter M, male angels, lovers of Mother Earth. He is a holy man, she is a holy man. When a weep man plants his roots into his Mother Earth, he will grow into a weave man of light, singing angel praises to the high one. He is a holy man. That was the ABC tongue of slaves. We will now sing the same exact words in English. Futhark runes. Mana Jorda Urkana Algis Hosana Odan Chagalaj. Now back to the ABC tongue of slaves. We will sing in the slave tongue. When a weave man spreads her wings into her father sky. She will grow into a weepman of light, singing angel praises to the high one. She is a holy man. That was the ABC tongue of slaves. Now we will sing the same exact words in English. Futhark runes. Algis pewaj perkana manaj hozana odan hagalaj. This is repeated to each direction. Manaj in its original form was identical to algis. Male and female are equal marks. Manaj represents a male human with his two legs and penis rooted into Mother Earth. Only when he is firm inside the Earth will he grow wings, becoming one with his algaes, his female self, and being Chagalaj, a holy being. Algaes, the angels, the letter Z, represents a female human with her two arms spread as wings to Tewaj, the letter T, our great sky father. Only when she is singing will her connection with Mother Earth take root and she will find her manaj, her male self, and become Chagalaj, a holy being. When you put algis on top of manaj, you actually get this mark, chagalaj, the mark of a holy being. Any single being can be a holy being. Sometimes it takes two together. And when you put those two together, well, they can make a baby. And that is a sacred holy thing. Children are the kings of the earth. In one of the earliest manipulations of the language, the letter M, manaj, the mark of the angels, inverted, male and female, equal to each other, was changed by Julius Caesar of the Holy Roman Empire. No, men and women are not equal. Men are superior. We will take this rune, Wunyo, the rune of sacred universal life, and claim it for our own. He inverted it, made a mirror image, drew it like this, boom, 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 connected them together, and you get the modern letter M. You can see it if you put the invert in. That's how the modern letter M came to be, because Julius Caesar refused to be equal with a female. Men are superior. We are the sacred universal light. 
and in reflecting this light onto women, and that's where he took the Wunyo and inverted it, and you get your modern M. Then and only then are, are we truly gods. And the Roman Inquisition went on to not only take this letter for themselves and refuse equality to women, but during the Roman Inquisition, they defined a witch by these three criteria. One a female who prays directly to God without going through a superior man who is the keeper of the sacred universal light. Two, a woman who could have an orgasm because in having an orgasm she could pass on sacred universal knowledge to a man and a child could be created and children are the true kings of the earth. Three, a male or female who could take the plants of the earth and cure disease out of a human body. You were a witch if you were a woman who prayed to God. You were a witch if you were a woman who could have an orgasm. You were a witch if you were a woman or a man who could take the plants of earth and cure illness out of a human body. Nine million humans and counting have been burned alive as witches. It is still legal in places on this planet today to burn a witch alive. The letter M.